as you find out things. I didn't know that we could sell out a tour. I didn't know what the tour would be. But Rodman, to his credit, from the very beginning, he said, I think this could be documentary gold, but I only want to do it if you allow me. He said, I don't want this to be a slick Conan O'Brien product. I don't want it to be something that shows you as this heroic person. I don't want it to be a concert film that's just showing you how amazing the concert was. And I was okay with that. You know, I was going through something and I thought, let's just be completely honest, let people see everything. And uh, I think this, I hope this could be informative or useful to people that see it, you know? I really do. And entertaining too, you know? So, yes? Uh, my name is Barry Tomlinson, I'm a student director. Uh, I'll I have two questions. First, I want to say, what was your best experience on this tour, your favorite? And also, would you ever do this again? Um, I, the question is, so what was the best experience and would I ever do this again? Yes. Um, you know what, I will never, I'll take the second question first. Okay. I've seen the president do that in press conferences. <laughs> I think that's really cool. I'll take the second one first. And then we'll get to the first one second. Second one first. Uh, I, would, um, I would love to do this again. It will never be this. This will never happen again. This really was a moment, and nothing I can stress more than this was a discrete moment in time. Everything came together. I don't, if I went and did a tour now, this tour was fueled by a kind of manic, insane, crazy, heart-wrenching uh, energy that I was real. Mm -hmm. And uh, unless I get into a huge fight with TBS tomorrow, I don't think that can happen. But that also takes me to the first question, which is now the second. Uh, <laughs> Which is, I would love to do this, and my favorite thing about the whole tour was the music. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing comedy for a long time, but music for me, and, I, and I, believe me, I'm not, uh, I know the, dis the distinction between myself and a real musician. My band, I have the best band in the world, the musicians. <laughs> They put the whole thing together musically, and I just, they're a rocket ship, and I get to sit on the nose cone with a little six string and look like I'm doing something. They, uh, they really were the heart and soul in many ways of that tour, and I love, music is a hobby for me. I would love to find any excuse. I'd love to, you know, it would be my dream once now, once the new gig is up and running and it feels like we found our sea legs and we're ready to go, I would like to go out and do dates here and there where we don't even charge any money or we just, you know, uh, or I, we charge an incredible amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my agents in the crowd. I just, we don't even charge money. Sign it, Tim. Sign it, Tim, now! He's done his job. Get him off stage. <laughs> Shut him up. But uh, I would love to do the music. The music was so fun for me. And getting to play with uh, Jack White uh, is, I mean, I'm, I'm, I really, I'm so happy that I still get to be in show business, but if they came to me right now and said, we just ran the, the, the numbers and the data and you're done forever in show business, I would walk away very happy after just the experiences on that tour. Good job.